My hairdresser asks me, what if I meet someone living in Kansas City and have to leave LA? <laughs> Dark mouthful of perceived sacrifice popping like bubblegum out from her curved and painted lips. She's tumbling the question into the gleam of this salon as if with blow dryer or curling iron, she can shape a future for me. I don't know what sort of adjectives she might place before that word. Uh, landlocked future? Uh, no more flip-flops in winter future. Uh, no glitz or glam, but at least you found your meat and potatoes future? <laughs> <laughs> and since I've booked this time to shed something of myself, I play along with her. Reply, it would depend on jobs, uh, how easily each of us could be severed from what we've woven during the years spent living as single people. But this is too practical, too lackluster. She clearly likes a more violent coming together. The version where someone has to give it all up for love. She's snipping merrily at my hair, adding additional layers and playing with how strands fall and move and settle into place. It's good, she says, and I nod. Yeah, it's good. But she takes up those scissors again, and this time she's decisively wild. Chop, chop, chop. Now, she breathes out. I stare again into the overlarge mirror, catalog how everything and yet nothing has changed from how I looked before. I don't know what you did, I say, but I can see it. <laughs>